Hello, Franklin first graders. This morning during our morning meeting, we talked about our core values. And our first core value is bravery. Bravery means you are going to try to do new things even if you're scared. It means taking a chance on something that maybe you're unsure about. Maybe speaking up if you're not sure about the answer but you still wanna try. Bravery is something that we can do every day. Every single one of you showed bravery by showing up to our meetings, by answering my questions, by doing work that is brand new to us, and it makes me very proud. So today we're gonna to read a book that has a little boy that is showing bravery. And it is called, What Do You Do With a Chance? So the title of our book is, What Do You Do With a Chance? And it is written, our author who writes the words, is Kobe Yamada. And our illustrator, which means that he draws the pictures, is May Bessem. So our author and illustrator are the ones who wrote the words and drew the pictures. So I want you to be thinking throughout this book, how is our friend showing bravery? What do you do with a chance? One day, let me go back. One day I got a chance. It just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. So what do you do with a chance, I wondered. It fluttered around me, it brushed up against me, it circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and pulled back, and so it flew away. That's what we talked about when you're not sure how to do something or it seems scary so you don't take a chance. I thought about it a lot. I wish I had taken my chance. I realized I had it, wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. We talked about that. Being brave is when you try something new, even if you don't know how to do it. I went to reach for it, but I missed and I fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored it, the less they came around. So if you don't take chances, and if you weren't brave, you aren't gonna get many new chances. Until one day I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid. And I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. And then I thought, maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized that it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then, one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining far off in the distance. Is it possible? I hoped. Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard and as fast as I could toward it. I don't know how to explain it, but the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. But this time I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and I grabbed it and I held on with all my might. It felt good to soar, to fly, to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So what do you do with a chance? You take it because it just might be the start of something incredible. And that's our story. 
That is what you do with a chance. When I look back at that story, I love how the little boy talked about how he was kind of scared. But if he knew that if he didn't take his chance, if he wasn't brave, then he might miss out on something really amazing. And that makes me think about how some of us yesterday were a little nervous. Or on our first day of school, we said we were scared. But we all took the chance. We were brave. We showed up to our Zoom meetings. We talked. We answered questions. We asked questions. And we showed bravery. Scholars, I really love that book and I hope you did too.